Hey traders from around the world, this is Jeremy Alexander Newsom with Real Life Trading Group doing absolutely sensationally fantastic. It is Friday, Friday, Friday. A lot of things going on. Let's talk Netflix. Netflix, beautiful gap yesterday and uh, I posted a, I wouldn't say controversial, but a very highly uh, looked at article uh, on TradingView and an idea yesterday on the similarities between this gap on Netflix and this gap on Netflix. Now, this gap back here definitely did have a little bit more volume, that's for sure, but check this out. White candle, small black candle, small black candle. White candle, small black candle, small black candle. Gaps up into a white candle, gaps up into a white candle. So my anticipation is we do a little bit of this, we trade sideways and we start popping. Target one, 120, 43, and ultimately 141, 21. So again, as I said back here on this gap, long time ago, and you guys remember that one, I am bullish on Netflix. I'm at least not bearish on it, that's for sure. So if and when we do get a little bit of a bounce, I will be pumped. Amazon. Amazon has earnings coming up soon. This thing just rocketing today. This is a little bit of a day trade analysis uh, that we're looking at earlier today. But there are a lot of things going on with Amazon. So Brian Bodie was in a condor on Amazon. He did unravel it successfully, as he told me yesterday. So Brian Bodie, great job, man. All the bullpit spreads today on Amazon will expire just fine. Waiting to see what Amazon does on earnings. Uh, truthfully, guys, as long as it doesn't gap down too far, you know, if it gaps down to anywhere above 445, really, um, I'd look to go bullish at some point on Amazon. Today, here it is, the talk of the town, Google. Google, Google, Google. And here's my analysis. I wanted to trade Google bearish today, as crazy as it sounds. I did look for a chance. Um, the reason I was trading it bearish, guys, you had all of these buyers, huge, huge volume, and we got a massive, massive gap. So I was thinking to myself, man, all those buyers plus everyone in this giant, giant channel probably gonna wanna sell, but just kept running, which is incredible. So I'm gonna allow Google to trade sideways to down for a few days to a week or two, probably two or three weeks. And if and when we do get any rotation, guys, I think Google um, is trying to head back to 1,000. Yes, I said it, probably gonna go back to 1,000. Very, very strong gap, incredible volume. Not tons of people trapped. It is a retest gap, so I will wait for the retest. I will be patient, and if and when the retest does occur, a little bit of boom, a little bit of pow, a little bit of chicken. It will look nice, I'll eat it, and it'll be beautiful. Here's SPY, just checking out the SPY, so we're at some resistance. Uh, we need a little bit of a retest at this resistance anyway, so I'm just kind of waiting on the SPY. Uh, the Iron Condor on SPY did expire, so that's very, very nice. LinkedIn. Oh, LinkedIn uh, was close, very, very close. I had a 225, 230 bear call spread expiring today. And yesterday I exited that spread because I was like, you know what? This is a retest gap. It's a good gap. It is retesting. I'm profitable. I got burned a little bit on ESPR. So I was like, I'm just going to go ahead and take that profit off the table. And I'm glad I did. I followed my plan. That was my plan. Did it, done it. Good, beautiful. Gold, ladies and gentlemen, where's the gold at? Gold, very good chance, is going to be heading a little bit lower on GLD. Here's my current analysis right now. Going to look for a swing trade bearish on a retest. So we've broken a very, very strong support on gold. You guys know my analysis on silver. I mentioned my analysis on silver sometime last week, and you guys know how that's working out. So right now on gold, we're breaking a really, really good support. I'm going to give this a day or two, maybe two or three days, maybe even a week to retest if it does retest. And then I'm looking for the bottom to possibly fall out on gold. Of course, I'm gonna risk my one risk unit and see what that does. But there is gold. SLW, my friends, this is the one that I was talking about just a few days ago in the stock review that I, anyway, doesn't matter. Hit our first target today. We had one target of 1390. Hit target one. Next target, if you're in SLW with me, is 1203. This thing is moving very, very nicely. Um, you can move your stop down if you wish to about 1472. But this thing, beautiful gap. No way we couldn't have gone bearish. There it is. Awesome. Incredible. Beautiful. I love it. SLV. Still bearish on SLV. 
We made a little bit of a lower low and a lower high today, barely, but we did. Let me actually try, try to get over there. Here's SLV. Uh, so we're down, you know, 0.78%, almost 1%. So we're making some lower lows and some lower highs. We did retest. We are making some low, lower moves. So I'm interested to keep an eye on SLV just to see what it does. Uh, but again, I am personally bearish on it. If it does continue lower, I will not be displeased with that at all. Uh, on SLV. So gold's probably the next one I'll be keeping a close eye on as well. Traders from around the world, hopefully this was beneficial and I do hope you are getting enriched by these stock reviews. I enjoy doing them. Thank you so much for watching them. Thank you for subscribing to our YouTube channel, telling all your friends. Our channel's growing very quick. Our audience is growing quick. Uh, real life trading has a handcuff or two on it for a little bit longer, but once those cuffs are off, I mean, hey, it's a brand new business, right? There's a lot of handcuffs on brand new businesses. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm so excited about enriching traders from all over the world. And I appreciate you guys letting me do what I do. I love it. It's all thanks to you. Have a great weekend. I'll see you Monday. And until then, remember, love life, live life, and trade it.